So go for the next part of the discussion in uh, this balance point theory. Now we'll go for types of overlapping. In these types of overlapping, first one is SS overlap. SS overlap. In this SS overlap, if you take uh, example as already I told you, it is H2 molecule. In this H2 molecule, the electronic configuration, we take one hydrogen in that H2 molecule, the atomic number of hydrogen is 1 and if you write the electronic configuration of each hydrogen, the electronic configuration is 1s1 and in this 1s1 uh, atomic orbital of hydrogen, 1s atomic orbital is spherical in shape and it contains one unpaired electron. The shape of any s orbital, not only 1s orbital, any s orbital shape is spherical in shape. So therefore, because it contains two hydrogen atoms, take two spherically shaped s orbitals, that is s atomic orbital of hydrogen, first s atomic orbital of hydrogen and uh, second s atomic orbital of hydrogen, second s atomic orbital of hydrogen uh, or else you can just take two spherical shaped structures of hydrogen and place one electron over here and place one electron over here both are spherically shaped first 1s orbital of hydrogen and second 1s orbital of hydrogen both of them they are trying to overlap when they are overlapping you find that both the electrons in the 1s atomic orbital they mutually share against each other equally they share when they share equally it will result in the formation of a bond pair that is first hydrogen and second hydrogen they equally share first hydrogen and second hydrogen atom they are 1s orbitals they share equally 1s and 1s they share equally this is the bond pair bond pair and this will result in the formation of the sigma cloud this is this is before this is before overlapping during overlapping after overlapping you find that this is a sigma cloud you can see this is nothing but a sigma cloud finally a sigma bond is obtained between the two hydrogen atoms here we have one hydrogen atom and here we have one hydrogen atom a sigma cloud is obtained and that will finally result in the formation of one sigma bond between the two hydrogen atoms one thing what we have to understand here is during the s orbital to s orbital overlapping of the two hydrogen atoms s atomic orbital spherical in shape of the first hydrogen atom s atomic orbital of the second hydrogen atom which is spherical in shape uh, the sigma bond which is formed because of the overlapping of both the s atomic orbitals of hydrogen the sigma bond which is formed in this kind of overlapping is non-directional the sigma bond obtained in this overlapping is non-directional because as already I told you, the s atomic orbital which is spherical in shape, it has uniform plane of symmetry that is the electron cloud density is uniform in all directions. So you cannot differentiate the electron cloud into a particular axis or into a particular direction. Because electron density in the spherical shape of the s atomic orbital is uniform, the sigma cloud or the sigma bond which is formed between the two atoms in this overlapping also, it is non-directional. So that's why this is a special type of overlapping and the sigma bond which is formed is very strong bond. So first type of overlapping is completed. Go for second type of overlapping. SP overlapping. SP overlapping. If you go for SP overlap example, the best example of SP overlap is HCl molecule. In this HCl molecule you are able to find two atoms, one hydrogen and one chlorine. Hydrogen atomic number is 1 and chlorine atomic number is 17. So if you take hydrogen, atomic number is 1, write the electronic configuration, 1s1. So it has 1s atomic orbital and 1 electron and if you go for chlorine, 17, 17, you can write the nearest noble gas configuration, neon of 3s2, 3p, 3p5, 3p5, but this 3p5, uh, atomic orbital of chlorine it can be resolved okay because it is 
a degenerate orbital 3p sub level is degenerate orbital it has three degenerate orbitals this 3p5 of chlorine this 3p5 of chlorine this 3p5 you can show it in the form of that is 3p x2 3p y2 and 3p z1 we can see that in 3p z atomic orbital we can see that in 3p z atomic orbital we have one unpaired electron so and moreover the any p orbital any p atomic orbital of a given element it is always dumbbell shape and the any s orbital of a given element is always spherical in shape so therefore what i am doing here is take the spherical shaped structure take the spherical shaped structure of hydrogen with its electron and uh, which belongs to this orbital is 1s orbital 1s atomic orbital of hydrogen with its unpaired electron and take 3pz atomic orbital of chlorine which is dumbbell shape so this dumbbell shape of the structure of the chlorine which which it has one electron chlorine its atomic orbital is 3pz 3pz this is before overlapping uh, after the overlapping you get the structure more or less like this this is the structure which you are going to get and this is nothing but the sigma bond formation this is the sigma cloud which you can see here this is a sigma cloud which is obtained so therefore finally between hydrogen and chlorine you find that there is a single bond the single bond is nothing but the sigma bond single bond and sigma bond so this is the type of overlap which we call it as sp overlap so the next type of overlapping here is that is third one p2p overlapping p2p overlapping the best example for p2p overlapping is chlorine molecule followed by oxygen molecule followed by nitrogen molecule so here if you go for chlorine molecule i can say that if you take chlorine molecule you find that between two chlorine atoms there is a single bond the single bond leads to a sigma bond formation between between if you take oxygen molecule between two oxygens there is a double bond you find that one bond is pi and the bond is sigma that means wherever wherever you find that there is a double bond formation taking place because of the overlapping of atomic orbitals once a double bond is formed one bond is sigma bond and the other bond is pi bond if you go for nitrogen molecule as we already know nitrogen molecule is always a triple bonded molecule so between two atoms of nitrogen you can find that there is a triple bond the middle one is always the sigma bond and the above and below bonds which are formed are called pi bonds so that means just we have to prove that in the chlorine molecule oxygen molecule and nitrogen molecule in chlorine molecule between two chlorine atoms there is one single bond that single bond is nothing but sigma bond and in oxygen molecule between two oxygens there is a double bond so you find that in the double bond we have one sigma bond and one pi bond in nitrogen molecule between two atoms of nitrogen you are finding that here the middle one is the sigma bond and the above and below bond are called pi bonds so we have to just prove uh, that the sigma bonds and pi bonds in all these three molecules so as already i told you one thing what you have to note here is during uh, p to p overlapping when p orbital to p orbital overlapping when p orbital to p orbital overlapping occurs what we have to identify here is here two types of overlapping are takes pl taking place one is end on end overlapping it's also called along the internuclear axis end on end overlapping along the internuclear axis internuclear axis here definitely the p2p overlapping results in the formation of sigma bond or sigma cloud another type of overlapping here is that is sidewise sidewise or lateral sidewise or lateral overlap which results in the formation of that is pi bond 
which results in the formation of pi bond. So, basing on this, now suppose for example, you take you take chlorine molecule, if you take chlorine molecule Cl2 molecule, in the Cl2 molecule, if you take one chlorine atom, atomic number is 17, the nearest noble gas configuration neon of 3s2, 3p, x2, 3p, y2 and 3p, z1. So, you are finding that the 17th electron of chlorine is consisting of the 3pz atomic orbital and it contains one unpaired electron. So, take two chlorine atoms there in the chlorine molecule. These two chlorine atoms, if you take the first chlorine atom has 3pz atomic orbital that is the 17th electron is entering into the 3pz atomic orbital and the 3pz atomic orbital is uh, dumbbell shaped in uh, its shape. So, we have to take two chlorines. So, for two chlorines we need uh, two p atomic orbitals that is 3 p z atomic orbitals both are dumbbell shaped. So, directly I am going to draw one I mean a diagram for both the chlorine atoms of their valency shell orbital this is valency electron orbital of the chlorine valency electron of the valence electron orbital of the chlorine is given by 3 p z. So, that is why here I am taking this is chlorine first chlorine in dumbbell shaped structure with its electron the orbital is 3 p z plus overlapping takes place. So, again I am trying to take one more electron of the 3 p z atomic orbital of the second chlorine also with its unpaired electron. Both of them they try to overlap. This is end on end overlapping. It is very clearly understood that the overlapping taking place is end on end overlapping. If it is end on end overlapping this results in end on and overlapping and on and overlapping and that will result in the formation of a sigma cloud in this pattern. Here you can find find one chlorine atom, here you can find one chlorine atom and here one electron with a dot this is sigma cloud. Sigma cloud is obtained. So, this, this very clearly makes us to understand that the end on end overlapping of the p atomic orbitals along the internuclear axis between the two atoms always results in the formation of a sigma bond. But if the same overlapping is taking place sidewise or lateral overlap if it is taking place then I can show you that figure also here. Suppose if you take the same 3 p z atomic orbitals of two chlorine atoms the this is sidewise sidewise or lateral overlap. overlap in chlorine molecule. So, we can take two dumbbell shaped structures of chlorine, first chlorine with an electron, again second chlorine also dumbbell shaped structure with an electron. It can give you okay this is the pi bond electron this is pi cloud formed between two p z atomic orbitals that is 3 p z of the first chlorine and again 3 p z of the second chlorine resulting in the formation of pi cloud.